Rahim's funeral is scheduled for later today. The FBI says he discussed the alleged terror plot with at least two other people. One of them was David Wright, who police arrested hours after Rahim was shot. The other has not been charged or named. Jim Axelrod is at the federal courthouse in Boston with how recorded phone calls led police to act. Jim, good morning. Law enforcement sources tell us the calls that they recorded captured Mr. Wright saying, you're attempting to go on vacation, I see, which the sources tell us is code for committing jihad. They also tell us that Wright instructed Rahim to both destroy his cell phone and wipe his computer clean in advance of his confrontation with Boston police. Federal conspiracy charges were drawn up for David Wright, also known as Dawood Sharif Abdul Khalik, after he had an urgent conversation with Usama Rahim about an imminent ISIS-style beheading plot. Rahim, who was under surveillance, phoned Wright, saying that he was going to go after the boys in blue, allegedly calling them the easiest target. The law enforcement official believed it was a reference to police officers. In turn, federal authorities say they heard Wright directing Rahim to erase his digital trail. The affidavit says Wright told Rahim, at the moment that you decide to, delete from your phone or you break it apart, throw it down to the ground, get rid of it before anybody gets it, and dump it. Two hours after that 5 a.m. phone call, Rahim, a 26-year-old private security officer, was confronted by a joint terrorism task force in Boston. When one of the officers told Rahim to drop his weapon, Rahim replied, you drop yours. Backtracking away from the suspect. Boston Police Commissioner William Evans said surveillance video of Tuesday's shooting shows the two officers acted in self-defense. The city's Muslim leaders were shown that video, which has not been released. He was uh, approaching them. They did back up. Federal authorities say Rahim's online alias shows he liked ISIS on Facebook. The week before his fatal encounter with police, Rahim purchased three fighting knives on Amazon.com. One of the weapons had a blade more than nine inches long. Rahim allegedly telling Wright, I just got myself a nice little tool. You know, it's good for carving. Wright's family refused comment after his court appearance. Federal officials say on Sunday, Rahim and Wright met on a Rhode Island beach with an unidentified third person who has not been arrested or charged. Federal investigators are still looking into whether the plot included more than just the three people we know about. Charlie? Jim, thanks.